You know, I'm not usually an advocate for violence, but if I ran into this guy in an alleyway, I feel like I'd have no choice but to fight or else he'd eat me. Also, I would not glass Joe out in a heartbeat. I hate French people. What's this video about again? Oh right, video games. Punch-Out! Wii is the latest installment of the Punch-Out! franchise. You know, the game about punching racial stereotypes to death. And with a fresh coat of paint thanks to the people at Next Level Games, who people might know better now for Luigi's Mansion 3, the series now looks better than ever. Although there hasn't been any new Punch-Out! content since the Wii, which is kinda sad since it's been 12 years since it was released. I mean, you might count Little Max Smash Brothers appearances if you're desperate, but eh, I don't think so. All I know for sure is that it could be a lot worse. Despite not having a new game in over a decade, Next Level Games made a marvelous last installment into the series. And seeing that it was one of the few games that sold over a million copies on the Wii, it really left the series off on a high note. And I strongly agree with that notion. This game may be incredibly simple in concept, but once you get down to the nitty gritty and start playing the game, it's crazy good. Seriously, if I were to give you my top 5 favorite games of all time, this would be in there. However, I'm gonna try and keep a level head and make sure my bias doesn't get in the way of me making an honest review. Now that that's out of the way, let's dig into how I feel about Punch-Out for the Wii. If you're familiar at all with Punch-Out, you know that the story has always been a bit thin. You play as a guy who wants to be better than the other guys. The other guys occasionally say things to you, but then they get punched and you win. The story of Punch-Out for the Wii is that you play as a guy who wants to be better than the other guys, and they occasionally say things, but then they get punched and you win. Now, I know I'm being a shitter for making that joke, but there's actually a little bit more to it than that. A little bit. Each boxer has more story thanks to a four-piece slideshow before their respective fights. Now, some of these are more insightful than others, but they add to their characters nonetheless, at least somewhat. For example, Glass Joe's slideshow tells you that he's an absolute wimp and knows next to nothing about boxing. But he's very proud of his heritage. Von Kaiser's shows you that he used to be a boxing instructor until he lost to his students and was traumatized. Which kind of explains why a guy as intimidating as him would be so low in the rankings. And King Hippo's slideshow shows that he likes eating. A lot. Also, the classic bit between circuits when Little Mac and Doc Lewis are training gets a bit more substance to it in this game. And there's also another cutscene towards the end of the game, but that's spoilers. That's one of the most frustrating parts about reviewing a game. There's a ton I want to tell you, but I don't want to spoil the game for anyone, you know? I hope I haven't spoiled anything for somebody. But to be fair, the term spoiler is kind of subjective. It depends on how picky you are about knowing stuff about a game before you play it. Anyways, the story of Punch-Out is pretty standard, as usual. There doesn't need to be much story in a game like Punch-Out, honestly. You just punch the guys and move on. It's a sport for Pete's sake. I won't deny that it would be cool to see how the Punch-Out series would handle a more in-depth story, but what we have suits the game well enough, and I'm fine with it. Gameplay time. And now, an apprehensive guide on how to play Punch-Out. Step 1. Punch. Step 2. The there's no step two. The gameplay of Punch-Out is very similar to all the other games. Big surprise. But this time, there's no hidden system that the game doesn't explain, or any secret bullshit abilities that take you out in one hit that you can hardly react to. At least, not early on. <clears throat> I'll get to that in a moment. The gameplay is simple and responsive, usually. It's dependent on how you play. You can play with motion controls using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, just a sideways Wii Remote for a more traditional experience, hell, even a Wii Balance Board. That's real, by the way. If you play with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, you have to punch in the air to actually punch in the game. Which is cool, but it can be a real workout. For real, if you play this game the standard method, your arms are going to be hurting if you're not an actual boxer yourself. There's no proper controller support, though, and that's because the game makes you navigate any and all menus with the motion controls, which is one of the few problems I have with this game. I know motion controls were the gimmick of that era of gaming, but if you were just able to use a pro controller or, or something, I can think of a lot of people that would be very happy about that, myself included. Anyways, the gameplay is quick and snappy, requiring quick reaction times towards the end. If you have any experience with the other Punch-Out games, you'll have some familiarity with how to beat the guys in this one, due to how well they translated each boxer into this game, unless they got reworked for the better like Aaron Ryan, or they're an entirely new character like Disco Kid. One thing has changed compared to the other games though, and that's the star punch mechanic. In most of the games it's been a meter, but in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, if you hit a character on a certain frame, you get a star. Each one is basically just a stronger punch, and you can have as many and use as many as you like. 
In Punch-Out! Wii, you can only have three stars at a time, but the more you have, the stronger the punch is, with a three-star punch being absolutely devastating. The catch is, though, if you get hit before you activate your star punch, you lose them all. Whereas, in Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, if you get hit, you lose one. This can encourage different playstyles. While some players might wait for the right moments to get stars and conserve them until they get three, unleashing them for max damage, some people might want to just use their star punches as soon as they get them to maximize speed. Now, remember when I said I don't like spoiling stuff, like, a minute and a half ago? I have to now. It's for the better that you know before you go into your local game exchange to buy a pre-owned Wii, Wii Remote, Nunchuck, and Punch-Out! game disc to play this game. And what I'm spoiling is how the game is laid out. Punch-Out! Wii has two main loops. The first is Contender Mode, where you play against all the boxers at their normal difficulty. During the first loop, the difficulty is properly scaled, and is pretty fun. Upon beating Contender Mode, you unlock Title Defense where every boxer gets an upgrade in their attempts to take the champion's belt from you. This is where the game goes into fuck you mode. Fake outs, frame perfect attacks, one hit KOs, little to no time to dodge, title defense mode does not hold back. If you're, and I hate to say this, a casual gamer, you'll be just fine only playing through the first loop, because title defense is absolutely brutal. However, I won't go as far to say as any of it's unfair because all of the boxer's attacks are based on algorithms and programs and other computer words. As in, they'll do the same patterns if you do the same things. This fact has led to many people experimenting with what you can manipulate and abuse to beat each boxer as fast as you can, making it yet another punch-out game that's really good for speedrunning. Speedruns of this game are insane, for real. One of my favorite speedrunners, Zallard1, was able to beat this game in just over an hour, completely blindfolded. Yes, that means he navigated the motion-controlled menu without being able to see it. It's one of, if not, my favorite speedrun I've ever seen. It's so impressive. At the end of the day, this game doesn't exactly have much wrong with it because of how compact it is. There isn't much to complain about because of how small the game is. Which is kind of one of the issues? I wish there was more. If you're, I don't know, bad at games, you might complain that the boxers are unfair. And I have one thing to say to you. Learn. The game is good, but I wish there was more to unlock. Like, maybe music tracks, collectibles, new enemies to fight, or maybe more playable characters even. I'm happy with what we got, though. At least it wasn't butchered due to time crunches or deadlines. Graphics. On top of the game looking surprisingly well on its own, the game's art style makes Punch-Out! for the Wii hold up even today, because holy cow it looks awesome. They managed to reflect the 2D sprites of the older games near perfectly, and the efforts of next level games were worth it tenfold. This applies to the animations as well. For the boxers, their animations make their moves easy to read and fun to experiment with. Really though, you can see the reactions to them missing a punch, then getting hit. It's awesome! The KO animations for each boxer are really entertaining as well. I'd go into further depth in this video, but there's already a video about the animation of Punch-Out that's like, one of my favorite videos ever. It's by New Frame Plus, and they go really in depth on the subject. I'll link their video in the description. Seriously, go watch it. Finish this video first, though. The soundtrack is all basically remixes of the main Punch-Out! theme, excluding a few select songs. What's really neat is that each boxer has their own rendition of the main Punch-Out! theme, and they're all based on the country that each one is in. They're all different enough to not get grading listening to them, which is a blessing. It doesn't mean I like all of them, but I'm glad they don't sound the same. In terms of other sound designs, the sound effects are all super satisfying and punchy. Oh, punchy. See what I did there? One gripe I have about the characters is the voices. Well, not directly the voices. You see, each character talks in their home language. Glass Joe speaks French, Von Kaiser speaks German, Aaron Ryan speaks... whatever the hell this is. You probably got cheeseburgers in those gloves, have ya, Mac? However, there aren't any subtitles for the non-English speaking boxers. Or any at all, except for Doc Lewis. This is such a simple thing. They got voice actors from every country represented. Why not get a translator to make subtitles? It's not a huge thing, but I wish I could know what they're saying without having to watch a YouTube video for it. Although from what videos I've seen, some of the boxers are saying some weird stuff. Again, the lack of subtitles isn't an issue. It kind of makes sense even. Why would there be subtitles for a live match? It just would have been nice to have them as an option. Uh, hi, Future Goose here. I genuinely forgot this game had a multiplayer mode so it's just not in the script. So I'm just gonna ad-lib about the multiplayer mode right now. You can play in one-on-one -on -one matches against another player if you happen to have another set of nunchucks or a controller or whatever. The gameplay is pretty much the same, but Little Mac plays slightly different so each player can actually get punches in instead of just dodging forever. It also adds the Gigamac mechanic where you get super big and, you know, you beat the shit out of the other player. 
you basically turn into a punch-out opponent for the other player to beat. It's a surprisingly entertaining mode, albeit a bit janky. My theory is that they probably just put it in towards the end of development, which is why it looks... the way it does. No offense. I think it would have been really cool to have a multiplayer mode where you could choose the boxer you fight as, but I don't know how difficult that would be. Probably a lot. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Back to the review. In terms of variety, what does Punch-Out have to offer to keep people hooked? Not very much. Each boxer has three exhibition challenges for you to beat, most of which will require at least one extra playthrough of the boxer to get. For example, Glass Joe's challenges are win the fight and land every punch thrown, land 50 jabs, and defeat Glass Joe in only four punches. Not difficult challenges per se, but but they differ between each boxer, and some are kind of goofy to complete. The fights stay the same for the most part, with them differing based on how fast you knock them down, which adds some variety to the fights, depending on what you do. There's also a section at the very end of the game that has some variety, but you'd have to be a hardcore Punch-Out fan to have even gotten to that point, so it doesn't really matter too much. All in all, there's not too much variety, so if you're not already a fan of the Punch-Out playstyle by the end of the first loop, then you'll probably get bored or frustrated pretty quick. Is there any DLC? Well, not anymore. Uh, let me explain. There's a teeny tiny bit of downloadable content called Doc Lewis's Punch-Out, which was an extra bit of game released in like 2009 or 2010 or something. I don't know. It was a little extra bit of game for Club Nintendo members only, and you can't really get it anymore. It consists of the same fight with like three different difficulties. It's kind of funny and gives a little more backstory, but there isn't much else to it. I'm sure you can find it somewhere pirated online, but I wouldn't recommend going through the effort if you're overestimating how much is in the thing. Now for my favorite moments of Punch-Out. The characters. That's it. Just watching the characters, seeing their personalities and animations, is really cool. Also, figuring out how they play, and being able to perfectly execute low-level speedrunning strats against them, because I'm a nerd. Most of my fun in this game revolves around the characters and just general gameplay, excluding the sore arms I got after playing this game for so long. And yes, I played the standard method, hurting my arms, what of it. So, at the end of the day, how do I feel about Punch-Out for the Wii? Well, it's fantastic, but there isn't too much to work with. The whole game can be beaten in about four hours, give or take, and there isn't too much substance after that, unless you like replaying the game several times. However, this game is really fun to play regardless, even when replaying it. Satisfying and difficult gameplay, in the fair way, charming art style, and a catchy, albeit samey soundtrack. My only problem is the lack of a few things, like subtitles, regular controller support, and a lack of some content. But like I've repeated several times, what we have does well enough for me. Now, if we added the nostalgia factor to this, Punch-Out for the Wii would have gotten a 10 out of 10 in my book. And it still does. But thinking fairly and not letting bias get in the way, I'm thinking I'm gonna give this game... Uh... 7 out of 10? What do you mean most of my review videos end up with above average ratings? Give me some shitty games to review then. Well, that's really all I gotta say about Punch-Out. Fantastic game. Now, I made a poll for which game I'd review next on my Discord, which this one won. So if you want to have a say in what videos I make, feel free to join. I'll start putting it in the description alongside all the other social medias I hardly use anymore. Also, I don't know how many of you know, but I stream on this channel, but I upload my stream VODs to Amigus Live, which is, you know, where I put all the stuff that I... I've streamed before. So I guess if you didn't know, go subscribe to it. It's in the description as well. Anyways, time for me to go. My name is Goose. I thank you very much for watching. And... Give me a new punch out or I'll kill Glass Joe. Now go away. <laughs>